Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you. Just before we start the weekly readings I just want to put a shout out to somebody. I am going to link their social media pages below. Instagram page. Okay do check that out it's Crystal Harmony UK. She has a website as well where she sells all her crystals and sort of jewellery and what have you. I've been purchasing from her now for quite some time. I love her jewellery, the, the crystal jewellery. I love to wear this because of the properties, guys. It gives so much, uh, so much metaphysics in crystals, okay, for those of you who love that side of things. She sells like little quaint sort of natty um, little ornaments. That's an incense burner there that you can put your incense sticks in. Really reasonable prices as well, guys. She's just started a YouTube channel up again. Um, so I will put the link to that. She describes the properties of crystals on there. So she's a lovely person, okay? You will warm to her. This was just my way of thanking her, really, because she's been really kind to me uh, with my purchases of late. So, yeah, do check out her details and also look into the properties of crystals and how they can benefit us as human beings on this planet. So with that said and done, let's get on to the weekly reads. I'm now going to read for the lovely star sign of Pisces. So Pisces, let's just move your card out of the way and let's have a look what's coming out in your book this week. What have we got for the lovely Pisces? So coming out in position number one, we have the card of listening. Listening can mean a lot of things really. It could be that you may overhear some information this week, okay, on a conversation, like sort of eavesdropping without meaning to, that kind of scenario. It can also mean about listening to your inner self, sort of soul, inner self, okay? Following your gut feeling about a situation, but the energies are telling you to keep your ears open this week. There could be some information that, in a job sense, uh, where you could hear of a, a position, an opening um, coming through. So just keep your ears to the ground and also take note of your own um, inner voice that is trying to get you to listen to it. Okay, it could be to do with health reasons that your body is trying to talk to you and say, look, you know, you're, you're neglecting sort of um, certain parts of you here that need addressing. So it covers a wide aspect, really, the listening, but just take it on as the energy that is coming in for you, Pisces, okay? So keep your ears to the ground, your ears open, because I do feel that you may I feel more so eavesdropping. It's as though you hear something that you shouldn't for some of you okay next card that comes out then is the beautiful card of empress and now that the empress card has come out for you pisces it's an energy of uncertainty an energy of the unknown around you at this moment in time i feel some of you are clutching at straws even though she's sort of holding um, wheat here. I'm just looking, they're telling me from spirit. You're clutching at straws on something. But I feel the clutching at straws is trying to get to the bottom of some information on a third party situation. I'm looking at the number three here. So you're not really seeing the full picture, you're not hearing the full story. So you're sort of preempting or prejudging something. The energy works with you on this, as I said. It's sort of telling you, don't preempt, don't sort of prejudge an outcome when you can't see the full picture. But if it's not you clutching at straws, there's somebody around you clutching at straws, um, maybe trying to find some information out about you. Very cryptic, Pisces, okay? For the majority of you, I feel you are not seeing the full picture on something and you are sort of second guessing this week. Something about second guessing some information. As I said, if it's not about you directly, I feel like you're second guessing on an outcome 
or some information about a third party. So let's dig into the reading a little bit more, shall we? Next card that comes out for you is New Phase. You have the new moon here. New Horizons. Stepping out of the shadows as well. I feel some of my Pisces have sort of um, been locked behind closed doors for quite some time. Not because of what's been going on in the world with the pandemic of your own choosing or because you've not been well enough to. But just know that this new phase comes in where you're stepping out of the darkness. Okay, you felt I feel whoever I'm picking up with here, things have been sort of um, very mundane, very sort of day to day, groundhog day type of energy. But this is changing. A new phase is coming in and I feel this is... When we get sort of the 3rd of March here, then you will feel this shift, you will feel this change. Some of you could be having to reach out for help or you need to reach out and support somebody as well around that time, the 3rd of March. So to be mindful of that date, okay? The next couple of cards we've got coming out for you, we have the Tower card coming here at the top position, followed by my home is my castle underneath either way we're looking at a change a sudden change maybe a tower moment is about changes sometimes they are not warranted changes not wanted changes around you but there's been something weighing heavy on you okay with my home is my castle and as i said i feel some of you have literally been maybe even housebound because of you might be looking after somebody or because you haven't felt well in yourself to sort of go out and about and do your normal day to day. You've been under the weather, Pisces. But because of that card there, we have the tower here. And because I said on the previous page, a sort of a new phase is coming in and you will be stepping out of this my home is my castle type of energy and a new phase is coming in where you will get more energy to return back to doing your normal things what you enjoy and getting back to your hobbies and interests as well okay so if you you could hear of somebody moving um moving sort of houses or rentals as well there could be somebody who's been living with you a member of your family or a friend and it's time for them to move on so they might come on to you and say you know I've had this opportunity come in I'm a little bit reluctant because I know that you've been struggling maybe so you may have sort of um, a take to take with somebody who is a bit concerned but they've had this opportunity come in and you'll say no you go for this I'll be fine okay so that's not going to resonate for all of you, but I do feel for some of my Pisces. We then have the card of listen. And didn't we come in at the very start of this reading? If we just have a recap. Listening card. So isn't that ironic how we've got two cards coming out for you in this reading of listen. Your energies are saying it's imperative Um to listen to information that is given to you of importance. But I do feel on this occasion, it's listening in on a person's conversation who may not be giving you the truth, the full truth about a situation to do with them in order to stop you from worrying. It's very deep Pisces, okay? And I feel the listen card is saying, get back out in nature. Listen to um, your inner spirit, inner soul who's trying to reconnect you with the outside world because you've been so sort of locked down. And as I said, not because of the pandemic, because of your health maybe or your own choosing. Uh, you may have had some struggles with family issues that has kept you sort of um, quite contained within your own four walls for a good length of time but we've got this listen card and this is sort of saying i'm listening now 
that I need to reconnect and getting out into nature when you can or even just to step out into your own back garden and start to listen and communicate with those energies around you. We then have the card of the Spirit Whisperer and it's divine guidance and a higher knowing. Again, I just feel we've got number three again in this card. The third of March, as I said, is very um, prominent for some of you. We've got sort of the spirit whisperer, the silent whisperer. It's like Chinese whispers as well for you, Pisces. I feel like there's some news going to come through to you, but it's going to come through in the Chinese whisper scenario and so that you get sort of a, a twisted reality, a twisted truth on some important information and I do feel it's about somebody's health I don't feel on this occasion it's to do with your health this is sort of the spirit whisperer comes in and lets you know and be privy about someone who is close to you a close friend or family member may be struggling health wise and it's something that they have kept within so I do feel this news is going to come out for some of you we then have the card of first chakra Archangel Michael comes in. But I look at the red on this um, card, on this angel, and there's warning signs here. There's issues around somebody in the stomach area who could be having problems with their digestive, okay, or in the lower regions um, to do with maybe gyne problems for some of you, okay. But I feel it's a warning coming through to say this issue still hasn't gone away. It's still manifesting around within. And this is why um, the first chakra, Archangel Michael, comes in. The first chakra is the root chakra. It's your base chakra. And if things aren't right at the bottom of you in the root chakra, then it sends out a signal of... Um, if I can explain to you, if it's like think of your meridians as being the motorway and if your motorway is blocked at the first junction okay then nobody else is getting through nothing is getting through and you're not going to be working correctly within your sort of body functions so for some of you again I feel um, there is issues or you may have issues around you of a friend or a family member who may be suffering issues within that region okay we then have the animal spirit cards coming out and we have the elephant which is the alchemical sign of fire and we have the bat which is the alchemical sign of air. These energies come around you Pisces because the bat energy is some important urgent information that will come dropping through your door. Okay, It could be um, sort of a notification um, of some legalities that you've been waiting on okay which is important to you but I feel by the end of March this will be coming through to you but it comes out in your favour because we've got the elephant here and it's a fire element so there's something very passionate about this information so I do feel whatever this is you are waiting on then just know that it's going to be coming in where you've been worrying about it maybe some of you about this information that you're waiting on but it's saying here don't be because the elephant it's a strong forceful going in your favor energy okay something that you're passionate about something that you're waiting on but just take on those animal spirit energies to know that yeah the information is going to be coming through for you okay I do feel towards the end of March. Now, bats can't see very well, but they can hear. And again, we've had listening in this reading for you. This will be the third occasion where listening has been associated. So pay attention, okay? Pay attention that whatever it is you're waiting to hear on, an outcome, whether it's to do with a job, a relationship, whether it's to do with health situations, just know that it's going to be coming in in your favour. So then we have the beautiful card of Knight of Hearts and it's a romance.
And again, this can mean a couple of things. Um, the Knight of Hearts Romance is offering your own love and support to others, okay? Keeping watchful eyes on what is going on around those who mean something to you. So you are offering support and love around someone that you've got a watchful eye on at the moment who maybe as i said is under the weather who um is struggling emotionally because we've got the blue and i work with color guys but for those of you who are single then it's just saying you may have your sights on somebody um a new friendship coming in um that could turn into a little bit more than just friends. But there's romance in the in the air and we're going into the Valentine's season anyway, 14th of February, which is not far away, coming in this week. So it could be that um, for some of my singletons out there that you realise that somebody has been having their sort of beady eye on you and there's romance blossoming here this week. So... Obviously, that's not going to resonate for all of you, but I do feel there's some key uh, information where it comes to light. Because I'm looking at the light now coming from the heart chakra that you will realise somebody has really liked you for a long time. And this becomes apparent this week. But on the general, if you're already involved and what have you, it's about spreading love to someone who needs it this week. OK, we then have. The lovely card of look at today as the beginning of a new and positive you and let go of the past as i said in previously on these this reading for you it's a new phase coming in butterfly is always about transformation so you are changing your burdens are sort of uh lifting here it's not going to be such heavy going as it has been and as it says, look at today as the beginning of a new and positive you and let go of the past. Now, this is coming from your spiritual realms, your guides and, and spirits sending this message to you. And they're just saying, how, hang in there, Pisces, because there is big transformations. We had the terror moment earlier on in this reading for you. Changes are coming in. Let go of the past. I feel some of you may be on a romantic because we're going around the 14th of February there could be an ex-partner that's troubling you in your mindset and it's the universe is saying let it go okay let that go and because there is new romantic um, partners set to come in for you so take heed of the butterfly there as a big transformation for you Pisces we then have the fairy realms coming in and we've got the fairy of trespassers at the top and at the bottom we have devotion devotion here i feel is the fairy realms telling you that there is somebody coming in who is there for you or you are there for somebody it doesn't always have to be on a romantic it can just be a very very close friendship but to somebody who is there as a support for you or you are there a support for somebody okay um going into March I feel again trespassers okay I feel there's an unwanted energy around Pisces at the moment it's that case of two companies three is a crowd I feel that maybe there's somebody who likes a person but there's somebody else who also likes that person and it's you know somebody's going to say you know I'm, I'm, I'm going to fight for this person as well that's not going to resonate for everybody, but I do feel here there's a sort of a, a battle of, of hearts um, going on where there's two people liking the one person and it's a showdown really, okay? Um, it can also mean that somebody's already involved in a relationship and there's a third party element coming in as a trespasser trying to uh, put heat on a matter. So just to be aware here, there could be some flirtatious energy going on in an already existing relationship. And the last card we've got coming out for you, Pisces, is a numerology card, and it's 35. And it's material accumulation. 
material accumulate material accumulation okay so it's material accumulation and it's called 35 the 3 and the 5 come down to an 8 and 8 is significant as well so I feel the 8th of March could be a memory of someone in spirit as a passing an anniversary but the 8th of March as well to remember that number as well Pisces I'm just going to grab the movie book of answers now just to finish this reading off for you and we'll get a message from there for you so what else have we got for the lovely Pisces you're gonna need a bigger boat <laughs> okay and it's by um Brody he was a character in the film Jaws you're gonna need a bigger boat so there's something giving you a message of um there's more help needed here there's more help needed on a situation, okay? Something is um, bigger than expected coming in for you, Pisces. So to take that phrase as you will. So my lovely Pisces, don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. And any likes, comments, um, share, subscribe, guys, just keeps my channel growing. And until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye then.